In one of the previous videos, the new method Ethanol's internal standard for direct determination of volatiles in spirit drinks was presented. It was theoretically explained and compared with traditional methods. In particularly in this video, we are going to pay more attention to RRF calculations for each individual compound, and what is more, we shall look how to use these values in order to analyze the unknown sample by method Ethanol's internal standard. The first step towards RRF calculations is gravimetric preparation of standard solution C. But in what way? Firstly, one prepares a binary water ethanol solution with the volumetric content of ethanol equal to 40%. Then the solution A is prepared by the addition of all analyzed compounds into the initial ethanol solution. Further, it's solution C, which prepared by the dilution of the aforementioned solution A. The quantitative content of prepared solution is familiar to solution C according to Commission Regulation 2870-2000. Since all mentioned operations are made in gravimetric way, the concentrations of volatiles can be calculated in milligram per liter in milligram per liter of absolute alcohol dimensions. For example, the concentration of volatiles in solution C is close to 500 milligram per liter of absolute alcohol or 200 milligram per liter. Thereafter, the prepared solution C must be measured by gas chromatography way. And now you can see the typical chromatogram of standard solution C. It's shown in a logarithmic scale in order to facilitate the perception. The greatest peak, which is marked with green, corresponds to ethanol as the major volatile in solution. Other organic compounds' peaks are much smaller. One of them is marked with red in order to be an example of RRF calculations. Response factor, RF, is the expression which is widely spread in gas chromatography analysis. It shows the intensity of chromatograph response dependence on quantity of compound entered in the column. And here you can see the formulas which show the calculations of RF values for ethanol and J compound. Thus, the A value corresponds to relevant peak areas. Probably you are going to question me if it is reliable to operate peak areas which differ more than four orders of magnitude. The answer is that modern gas chromatographs are accurate enough to operate with peak areas which differ more than seven orders of magnitude. That's why you shouldn't ever care about it. Except area values formulas includes volumes of the sample entered into chromatograph and the concentration of J compound, which can be calculated during gravimetric preparations. As to ethanol, it was earlier explained that it is possible to replace ethanol concentration by density. Also, an eta value should be added. Eta shows the volumetric content of ethanol in solution C, and in our case it's equal to 0.4. The RRF values, in turn, are the relations of RF values of ethanol and J compound. During the counting process, the eta value will converse J concentration dimension from milligram per liter to milligram per liter of absolute alcohol. And further, you can see the example where RF value is close to 0.7. It means that the detector is more sensible to J compound rather than to ethanol, and the RF value more than one has the opposite meaning. Particularly for ethanol, value is always equal to one. The RRF values for all other compounds are determined by a similar way and it's necessary to mark that they are constant for each individual chromatograph and can be tabulated. And finally, we are welcome to analyze the unknown sample. In the case of using ethanol as internal standard, there is no need to add an extra internal standard from the outside, because ethanol always exists in spirit drinks. And that's why sample is simply placed into standard microvial for GC analysis and measured. As far as you can see from the formula, for J-compound concentration determinations, one need just to calculate the reliable chromatogram, enter the peak areas and use the RF values which were determined earlier. In that case, we obtain the data in milligram per liter of absolute alcohol, in full compliance with international regulatory documents. The online calculator Alka Drinks was created in order to help people use the new method. It makes all the calculations. All you need is just enter the RF values and peak areas from measured chromatogram. Let's repeat the algorithm again. So, the first step lies in gravimetric preparation of solution C, then this solution is measured and RF values are determined. And after previous steps, the composition of a known solution is determined.